Hello my students, this is me Asis Manandar and in today's video lesson, we are going to discuss about the lesson drip irrigation. This video has been prepared for the students of class 7. This is related to the subject OBTE. So before discussing about drip irrigation, let's discuss what is irrigation. So you might have heard about the term irrigation many times. Irrigation or Sichai. Irrigation is the process of supplying water in order to help the crops grow and develop. So we all know that plants need water in order to prepare food. So irrigation is the process of supplying water to the plants. We know like water, the because we know like water, supply karne process like that. irrigation works. There are various methods of irrigation and we will discuss one of them, which is drip irrigation. Drip irrigation is a very effective method and also a very popular method of irrigation. And it is not that expensive as well. So let's discuss about what is drip irrigation. So drip irrigation basically uh, we have to use pipes or bamboo. So, uh, manchele afno locally available bamboo atwa basman use garna suction or they can use a polythene pipe as well. I didn't have uh, both of them. So, my example dina kolagi, dikhano kolagi. I have uh, a metal pipe on my hand. So, I'm in reality manche, we use a bamboo or polythene pipe. So, the micro land ko area kati sa, this ono sarze amilai two length ko pipes atwa bamboo chine unse. We will make very small holes in the pipe or the bamboo. I mean, some of the I so. you take them short, I mean, you have a body length in reality. So, we will make small holes on the pipe or the bamboo. And we will lay the pipes or bamboo all over the land. So, the zamin bhali is a bamboo or the pipe like, while the pipe is a bit like, the bamboo. And all of them are interconnected to one another. Okay, so this is the land of land that the pipes of the bamboo lay lay down. We will connect it to a source of water. The other way, the source of water is the land of land area. Higher height, the body height. The moon is the source of water. So, this is the water supply. So, this is water supply. Pipe ma pani jansa, or thava bamboo with the pani jansa, or to whole water, pani drip on a sugar, sabista pani niskuna sugunsa. Zalegar da keri, protect plant co root ma pani sazilis and jana soxa. So you yo method co yoda fida kyo van da keri, directly water saying root samami, directly put on a soxa. So uh, it is easier for roots to absorb water in this drip irrigation. Method. Now we will discuss about the importance of drip irrigation. So first of all, drip irrigation means optimum utilization of water. So the first importance is it helps in optimum utilization of water. Pani ko body vanda body uchit prayog hunsa esma upayog hunsa. Second one is a little amount of water can irrigate large area of land. And the third importance is each and every plant gets equal irrigation facility. Pratik plant le equal irrigation facility pounds, equal amount of water pounds. So these are the importance of drip irrigation. And it is very popular in Nepal as well. In many places of Nepal, drip irrigation is used. We can use drip irrigation in our kitchen garden as well as for commercial farmlands as well. And one thing we need to remember, uh, we should use clean water while uh, irrigating our farmland. You know, the holes may get clogged, okay, holes may get blocked. So as far as possible, we should use clean water. Now I'm going to give some questions as your homework. There are no uh, many questions. Uh, question number one for your homework is, uh, what do you mean by irrigation? Question number two. Uh, discuss drip irrigation in short and question number three write any three importance of drip irrigation 
Okay, that's it, guys. Um, now I would have to say bye bye. Please do the homework, and uh, if you uh, like this video, please share this video as well. Okay.